Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Brief for April 28th. A 16-year-old from New Jersey has won the 2014-2015 Junior Duck Stamp Contest run by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. This beautiful acrylic painting of a single king eater will be featured on the stamp to be issued June 27th. The 1918 24-cent Jenny Invert Airmail error from position 89 of the Discovery Paint of 100 Stamps will be offered at auction May 13th through the 14th in New York City by Matthew Bennett. The stamp, noted by the auction house as one of the most handsome examples, is one highlight from an auction that showcases a number of classics from the United States and Canada. Work on Volume 5 of the 2015 Standard Catalog has begun. Look for increases in many smaller classic period colonial countries. There is collector interest in these areas, especially for stamps with quality, very fine material. The Pacific Island of Samoa, a place on my wish list to visit someday, has come under the microscope by Scott editors. Many upward values have been noted in the classic period well into the 1950s. There's also a clear softening of the market, however, in 1960s through 1990s material, but some stamps from 2002 to date are very strong with many increases noted, some actually quite substantial. Artwork for two new Hot Rods Forever stamps were recently shown in the Postal Service's USA Philatelic catalog that hit uh, stands last week. The stamps will appear June 6th at post offices nationwide in a popular booklet format. For Lynn Stamp News and Scott Publishing, I'm Jay Bogalke. Enjoy your weekend stamps.